All right, heading out to the Players' Championship. Golf. TPC Sawgrass. NBC Golf Channel on EA Sports in association with the PGA Tour proudly presents the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, it's live opening round coverage of the players. Oh, shit. That's not a good shot. Frank, he is one of the longest hitters in the game, but at some point, you have to hit a fairway. Yeah, he's uh, certainly not the straightest. I think that was the bit you're going to put in the middle. Headed for the bunker? Shit! Just a um, line and into the bunker. You can tell me golfing. Inside bunker, Frank, little bit of a problem. Getting set for this next shot from the rough. What does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because you know that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if you, if you know what you're doing. Just needs to keep it steady here over the putt. Jordan Spieth, we have seen it, Frank. He's catching <clears throat> fire. He's on the move. Only a couple of shots back of the lead. Frank, what do you make of the par five second? Dog legs to the left, so there's a decision to be made here all the time, but a good hooking tee shot. That takes the trees on the left out of play, and even the rough on the right. Good tee shot here. I've seen people get home with uh, as little as a five on. And that's going to stay on the fairway here at the second hole. Second shot coming up here at the par five. There's a bunker over there. I think he's headed for it. Getting some sand in the shoes now. For a second straight hole, he's in the bunker. Third shot now from the bunker. Bit surprising. He misses the green in regulation here at the par five. Do yeah, you think this is one of the easier holes on the golf course? Um, so now just trying to avoid six. And he's made the green. And it's a long way to the hole from here. Never easy. And you couldn't ask for much more than that, except to make it. Just a couple of feet. That's a bogey putt, dropping down the leaderboard a bit, now at two over par. Setting up for the third hole here at TPC Sawgrass, relatively short par three at 177 yards. But you've got to carry that ball at least four or five yards onto this green, even when it's firm. He's knocked it on the green, but not in a great position. This is a difficult chance coming up here. Long birdie try. Yeah, next next year, me and your brother, we, me, you, and your brother, we gotta get to West Point and hit up that golf course. Yeah, man. Pretty good stroke right there. Just hit it through the break. It's a sort of distance. If it goes in, it's a bonus. Oh, painful. Uh. Good putt. Absolutely can't believe it. I thought that thing was stone dead in the center. Third tree hole over so one over par. Three over par now for the round. Three over par for the round. Fuck. Frank, how important is positioning off the tee here? Well, we saw a positional tee shot at one and two. This is another one here at four. I'm loving that balance. Frank, the second here at the fourth is a dangerous shot. Once again, this is another example of where you have to look at the green. Where exactly is the flag? If it's on that high portion, you've got to fly it all the way back. There we go. 
wouldn't say that was his best, but not bad either. On the green and with a putt. Frank, I'm not saying he should pull out driver here, but this is a long putt. Greens are fast, though. You never know. Good line, good pace. Might have a chance. Not quite enough on that one. Couple of feet short. Yeah, hopefully uh, he taps it in. Not his best, but um, hopefully it's just two putts. Buffalo. Been a little too much of that, Frank. Be you. Oh, be you. Yeah, Buffalo University. Good par four, isn't it, Frank? If ever a hall was built for yeah, nah. Serena, who used to love to cut Buffalo it, State this University. Would be the hall that just looks and screams for a shot that's hit left to right. And that's the only way really to avoid bunkers left and long. And I almost I almost sent right. in I couldn't I couldn't really get my football tapes. This is the second shot at the par four. Um uh, edited, but I, I was gonna send in tapes to Buffalo. Here's a smart shot, Frank. Yeah, no problem here. That's gonna fly all yeah. the way. Oh! Oh! Eagle! I'm sorry. I just fucking drilled a. Frank, this isn't a hole that sort of jumps out. The way I, don't, I don't even know how far that was. Yeah, a lot of times, people will just sort of gloss over it, but any time you get a par four into 400 yards, it's a great opportunity. But once again, a positional hole. Let's just say, let's say I drilled an eagle from the hole from the uh, fairway. Yeah, man. But I, I do want to go back to that place that we went to a couple, like um, the last time we went, uh, the last time we went golfing. What the hell was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah. Yeah. And there's another place that we got to go to very nice. It's um not Scott's Corners. I keep thinking it's Storm King. I keep thinking about Storm King, not Scott's Corners. Scott's, Scott's Corners is kind of a shithole a little bit. I mean, it's nice for a cheap, you know, round of golf. Made a good run at birdie. But it's like 15 bucks, I think it was for, or 20 bucks for a round of, yeah. It's not bad for a cheap, you know, oh guy's day out. That. And that was almost tap in distance. Just to tap in to finish the hole. Losing a bit of ball uh, in this tournament. With the bogey, balls to two over. Frank, what do you think of the seven? Interesting par four. Um, for two reasons. The undulating green on the end of the hole that also shapes to the right. That makes it look like a dog leg right. But really, you want to play that tee shot just inside those pot bunkers down the right side. Oh, that's fine. Frank, obviously, when people think about TPC Sawgrass, I think most think about the 17th. It's about 140 yards of pure terror. It is, as they have said, diabolical in here. You want to go low? Die trying. The amazing thing about 17, it's the only hole, really, that Pete Dye didn't design. Uh, 17 is designed by his wife, Alice. They had a problem trying to get from 16 to 18. It was a big area that they dug out when they when they tried to get some of the sand for the golf course. And then Ellis Dye said, well, why not just put a hole there? And really, when you think about it, the advent of stadium golf, the island green at 17, that's what's pushed this game over the last 25 years. Very well done. Almost made it. Yeah, there'll be no stress for the next one. Sitting right now at two over par for the round. Needs birdies at some point, but will take the par to stay at two over. Frank, this is a hole that I really like. The eighth, 237 yard par three, just a necklace of bunkers surrounding the green. What's the best approach? Shit. Through that shoot or that whole wire three bit. Stop, stop, stop. Bam, right on the green. Good, good, good. The green actually much on the fringe because of that narrow entry. All right, Frank, just on the fringe, he might be thinking about making this. He's a better chipper than you, Rich. That just came out blazing. As soon as it hit the green, it was never going to stop.
Nice approach shot. He'll be happy with that. It's no snack, though. Inexcusable. You don't want to let this one get away. This is about concentration and focus at this point. Couple shots over bar. Frank, now at the ninth, this really is one of my favorite par fives in the entire sport. And uh, I certainly enjoy watching people play it today, Rich. Uh, it used to be unreachable, but the longer hitters now, uh, we're starting to see them go for this par five regularly in two. And the reason why they start to hit the drive more down the right now than what they used to. People used to try and go down the left side. The right side, it hugs the water, but you get a better view of the second shot. Long and straight. That's how you do it. Getting bounced around today. You think the winds have been a factor? There's no question. That's been the biggest problem for the players right now. But uh, still, it's playable. It's, it's not ridiculous. It's not unplayable out there. Fuck. Not missing by much today, but enough to again be in the bunker. Routine stuff here, Frank, from the bunker? I'm just going to be careful of that lip in front of him. This third shot coming up. Chance to close out the front side here with a birdie. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> just has the feel today. <clears throat> Now onto one of the most exciting back nines in golf here at the TPC Sawgrass in the stadium course. Let's begin at number 10, Frank, and what do you make of this hole? It's another one where you're just trying to fit the tee shot in the uh, in the fairway there. It's not a driver, just something that stays right. And of course, um, no. we've seen a lot of people stray here down the left side. Who no. Get Mickelson, when he won his uh, Players' Championship, hitting that phenomenal seven no. out of the fairway bunker through the trees and still finding the putting service. But speaking of the putting service, this green has more undulation. Not a big comic book guy. Birdie try up next. Frank, the beauty of golf, you never know when you're going to find that spark and begin to turn it around. Yeah, well, that's why you can't just quit on the middle of the round. You've got to believe that something good is just around the corner, and this just might be it. When you consider the length of that putt, it's a good putt. And getting ready for the putt. Are you kidding me? That looked like it was in. So just a formality here. I don't think a tourniquet is going to work after that one. Tough to watch. Hole number 11, 558 yard. Par 5. Frank, players in attack mode here. Yeah, just try and blitz it down there. There are other bunkers on the left to consider, but really, with that much fairway, this is a green light opportunity. Yeah. Look at again, apartment. Frank, not the longest hitter, but sometimes you win tournaments by putting it in a good spot, and that's where we are right here, 280 yards out. Yeah, 280 down the middle of the fairway. That'll never get you in. Like, I was looking at places in, in New York. It's just so expensive. That's an absolute beauty. Like, rents is just so much money in New York. It's crazy. 
Well, coming from the right side, once again, you have to be exact on the distance uh, because that green now is at the wrong angle. Well, Frank, you hate to miss the green on a par five with your third shot. Yeah, well, they say par fives are the uh, easiest holes to birdie, but the hardest holes to make four. Making a six, though, well, that certainly sets yourself backwards. So tough up and down. Just a couple of feet. Chases that in for par to stay at four over. Yeah. Frank, what's so much fun about TPC Sawgrass is the excitement that it generates for a fan and how many different holes there are. I'm, ev I'm eventually trying to move. Yeah, 12 looks like it's fresh from Scotland. Like, to like, someplace cheaper, like Indiana uh, or, you know. Away, but the second shot is blind. The shots you get in Scotland with the wedge. Yeah, no, I want to stay pretty much where there's snow. to really guesstimate on the yardage that you have. But a good wedge shot and someone that can judge their distance. This is certainly a birdie hole. These are the kind of putts that keep a round going about 10 feet away for par. Not a gimme, but well within his range. Wow, that was so close, Frank. Just time to forget that one. I mean, you couldn't hit that much better. Hard to be perfect in this game. That's a bogey. <sighs> Frank, so much focus on the back nine here at the stadium course at TPC Sawgrass on the 17th hole with the island green. I think 13 gets lost sometimes, but the pros know this is a really good hole. Oh, it can be disastrous, too. That's, I think, what you're referring to, Rich. There's a big ridge in the middle of the screen that bisects the top side with the bottom side on the left. So even when the flag's on the left, you don't have to go directly at it because that normally causes the problem with the uh, wooden bulkheads down the left side and obviously the water left of that. So something on the ridge can often run down towards the left. But we have seen the odd hole-in-one here over the years. 14th hole, 481 yard, par 4, ranking second in difficulty, Frank. Yeah, this one always gets overlooked, Rich. You've only got to flick the drive a little left, and all of a sudden your round just gets completely mm -hmm. wrecked. Ask VJ Singh. Cost him a player's championship. Many a player there has dealt with that left side. Uh, it, you will pay the price. Well, that is a really good tee shot right there, Frank. I think that took the 300-yard mark. This one looks like it's headed right for the middle of the dance floor, Frank. Rather nice shot, this one. That's one of the more depressing sights in golf. You hit a good one, and then it just sucks back too much spin off the green. And he's made it onto the green now. Been pretty good all day from this distance, just trying to take care of business. This would be a good time to reverse the slide. Five over par on the day. Now to the 15th, and Frank, I know this is a hole that you really like. Yeah, it gets no respect in my book, which I think is a shame. Just a nice dog leg to the right. And a really two good shots and a three here, which is actually a rarity. It sets you up for those closing three holes. Too often people just take 15 lightly. And 15 has just a gentle nibble that turns into a bite. Sit down. Get down. Oh, this is this is gone. Just averted danger right there. So close. What does he have all the luck? Long putt here. This will require a good touch. Looks like he just misread that. And this will be a five-foot putt here. Good putt. Now the start of the gauntlet. 16, 17, and 18. Part 5, 16. Frank, Tiger made birdie here all four days in winning in 2013. Fred Couples made that fantastic eagle many years ago. Hole bends a little to the players left. You don't have to hit driver here if you're a long hitter, but you really must move that ball right to left.
Frank, this is a position where a player is absolutely licking his chops here. Good chance to make a birdie. Yeah, this is when this game just looks like fun. Bunkers don't seem to be in play. The only thing you're really looking at right now is just the flag. Frank, not where he wants to be, but not out of the hole here at the par five. No, but uh, Rich, to drop a shot here would, uh, would really set him backwards. Now on the green, has about 10 feet left there to save par. Shouldn't be a problem here. That was cruel. That looked like it was certainly going in. That's costly right there. Painful. How does that stay out? I have no earthly idea. That's cruel, that. Hole's round. Ball's meant to go in. So, they'll tap in. That's messy. That's a double bogey. Frank, as a fan, it's so exciting because it's just so simple as well. Ball's in the air. You're wondering, where is it? Wet, dry, short, long, winner or loser? And it's no surprise that this hole was an accident. This one was designed by not Pete Dye, but his wife Alice Dye. But we have seen so many accidents right here. Getting set for this next shot from the rough, what <laughs> does the player need to be careful of here, Frank? Well, this is where we're going to see exactly how good they are because, you know, that's not exactly the best lie, but it's sort of doable if, if you know what you're doing. Really not much to this. The only issue would be a lack of concentration or focus. Oh, my God. Well, not going to be too happy with that one. <sighs> Everything has gone wrong today. Just continues to be ugly. People always talk about 17 being visually intimidating. Frank, what about 18? If there's a little bit of wind off the right, the tee shot is so much easier. But if that wind is coming off the, the water, not only do you see the water and the wooden bulkheads, you see all the rough and the trees on the right. And of course, then you start bringing five, six, seven, even eight into play. That's what makes this tee shot so hard. He has just hammered this drive here at the 18th, and now he is in a really good position to make a birdie here in the final hole. So maybe a nice way to finish up with a good approach here to the 18th and a good chance for birdie. Just a little too much juice on that birdie putt, Frank. It was bold. Very bold. This is a nine-footer. Wow, he got Oh, my Frank. God. No, it's like <clears throat> kissing your mother-in-law. This would give him a bogey. <sighs> it's been one of those rounds. <laughs> Ten over par. 10 over par for round one. Fuck. And that'll wrap up the first round. We saw some good golf today, Frank, but some others, they 